Alright, good morning everyone. Today, we're going to play a fairly old indie game called Virgo vs. The Zodiac. It is currently on sale on Steam till, well, a couple of hours from now. <laughs> so make sure to grab this, this game if you are interested to play this after you watch this let's play i guess so yeah i have no idea about this game i came here without any expectation whatsoever uh let's just find out shall we <laughs> start a new cycle yes so like a difficulty mode to feel more information about it the story will not change regardless of the mode you choose stress-free mode I like a little bit of stress, you know, stress will make you do better in life, I guess. <laughs> if, if you're sticking to your comfort zone all the time, you won't improve, right? So yeah, stress-free is a no-no. Masochist mode. Maybe I will try this? Okay, uh, I think I'll, I'll go with masochist mode. This mode is ideal, ideal for players who are up to a more challenging experience. Sounds like me. Battles have no time hit indicators and enemies are tougher. What that means? What does that mean? Time hit indicator. We'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. However, all combatants have an increased critical rate. You may change modes at any time in settings, menu, game. Okay, that is a good news. So we can change our difficulty at any point in the game. So yeah, let's just go with Masochist then. <laughs> you may change modes at any time in settings, menu, game. Play on Masochist mode. The constellation are no longer aligned. The end of the golden age marked the beginning of a new era, where the zodiacs would reign over their realms without the interference of strict system settled by the rulers. But for my sister, that meant complete chaos. She has vowed to do something about it. This isn't unlike her. If she spots something in conflict with her standards of order and symmetry, she'll destroy it. How could someone live in a world this filthy? Back in Golden Age this, Golden Age that, blah blah blah, she'd stay out loud. While bragging about how pure she is. This is of course lovable to someone like me. Can barely take care of that for which she would risk her own freedom. I was helping her to see just how far she would go for she always amuses me. The troublesome story begins 9.14? What does that mean? Astronomical units away from here, far far away in a realm filled with goats. We've arrived at last. Hear me, you heretics. Your reign of corporate tyranny shall end today. Mercy will save you no longer. None shall stop the righteous purge that awaits your lady Capricorn. Each and every sin committed in the name of your sovereign will be judged by my own sa sacred hand. For I am Virgo, daughter of Mercury and servant of purity. And I will fulfill my duty as the great purifier of the celestial system. The return of Golden Age is at hand. For the record, I have no idea about the Zodiac thing. I'm not really interested in it, but maybe after playing this I'll be able to get a little bit more interested in Zodiacs. <laughs> None listen to you, Virgo. <laughs> what? Such nefarious creatures. After practicing that great monologue for so long, we waited for three long weeks to get an audience with Capricorn. Capricorn is a very busy lady, so this is understandable. When they noticed their grand gate falling down like this, they hear Capricornians. Uh, I bet that reference to something that Capricorns usually do. I have no idea. 
they're too busy with their agenda to notice us. And this is what I shall do. Strike while they are unaware of my presence. But before doing that, be sure to check your daily horoscope on the red pillars. <laughs> Interesting. Fate is upon us. Fate is upon us. Alright, this is heavily inspired by Zodiac horoscope thing, I guess. Temples of Saturn. So, I'm sorry if I don't get any of the reference that is being told in here because... I'm not really into Zodiac horoscope kind of thing. I will always say that when there's that kind of stuff happening, <laughs> being told here. Um, so, if we press start, it will bring us this menu. What is inside our bag? Consumables, lemonade, it's low sugar, value may taste terrible, but low sugar value may taste terrible, but it's terribly healthy. <laughs> This contradiction raises the consumer's versatility. What is a versatility? Probably it's our stat. Equipment, we have no nothing that we can equip. Friends, we have no friends. Oh, poor you. Go make some friends. Key items, recipes. Okay, nothing, nothing really interesting right now, so. What's here? Equipment. Sacred door. So what is the difference between this equipment and this one? We got a sword, shield, and a wand. Influence plus 4, perch attack plus 5, speed minus 5. Power 70. I believe Virgo is some kind of tank because she got no speed. The way they name their stats is kind of unique. As you can see, influence and push attack. A push attack is not that unique. I mean, the influence, the influence thing. What will influence do in battle? And what is this? Thyrios glow, counter attack plus five, versatility. Yeah, also that versatility thing. Okay. This is the, the, these are the description for the attributes, the, the stats. Ambition increase, increases all cardinal damage dealt and purity by 1% per point of ambition. I still have no clue about this thing. Versatility increases all mutable damage dealt by 1% per point of versatility and raises both hearts and purity by 0.5% per point. So ambition, versatility, and patience are actually the strength of your character, but they're like different type of strengths. Maybe it is like ma uh, magic, then melee damage, that kind of stuff. And the third one is probably mental damage, emotional damage. <laughs> Increases all fixed damage dealt and hearts by 1% per point of patience and hearts can be recovered by drinking special brews purity protects hearts taking damage in their place oh purity is defense and heart is our health right okay purity represents thickness of one's skin clothing and mind purity always protects one's heart from harm damage token is direct there uh, We'll figure this out later. I, at least I know this three, what this three are. And hearts, purity, and destiny. Cuteness, oh, you! There's a stat for cuteness! <laughs> Mishu's a creature, huggability. <laughs> what is a huggability? Maybe this is charm. It's usually a charm. Charisma in other RPGs. And this one is. Luck. Destiny is luck. Purity is defense, heart is like the health point. Ambition defeats versatility, versatility defeats patience, and patience defeats ambition. That's the like the rock, paper, scissors in this game, the element, how the element works. And what's more, this is a map, some kind of achievement thing, I guess. 
And a save file. Can we save right now? Nope. Oh yeah, we can. That was the load the load screen. This is the save screen. We've been just reading the stats for like 12 minutes. <laughs> so sorry for that, viewers. <laughs> it's one of them. Salary goat. <laughs> All the hybern must be exterminated. You won't fear hierarchy any longer. Kill, kill, kill! And I'm now now it's time for battle. Virgo, it hasn't even been 5 minutes since we got here. No, it's been 12 minutes, actually. And you're already fighting with good people. Do you think- do you need any help with that? I'll put you some reminders. It's tutorial battle. The salary good will likely begin with violence. Try guarding to gain purity. While your purity is up, you won't take damage. So guarding will raise your defense, your purity. Oh, I see, I see. It's like temporary health, not really a defense. But chill, this son of a Capricorn is attacking. Hit the A button now to block his suitcase. Oh, that's what it means, the time hit indicator at the beginning when we pick Masochist mode. You get a counter turn if you had purity before being hit. Now use Vengeance to bop that goat. Vengeance. Hit A button again to deal bonus damage when attacking. So it's kind of like Mario RPG then. There's some timing involved in this game. What is Exorcism? Single foe. Front row. Uh, I think I'm gonna ramp up my purity first before before doing anything else. Here go is on guard. Perfect! Yo! Yeah. I'm good at this one. I'm good at this game, I guess. Oh, miss! <laughs> I forgot I can do that. Okay, time it correctly. Miss again. Salary Goat drinks an espresso. Feels bro crazy. <laughs> This game has style! I like it! Perfect! Counter turn! Okay, I missed again. Let's charge our purity first. Oh, I missed! Dang! I missed again! <laughs> Okay, when when Virgo is blinking, I need to press A, I guess. That's how the timing works. A block, counter turn, miss. I'll try it again one more time. Hit. Let's go. Victory. The world is clear, cleaner now. Virgo, did you just kill him? Don't you even consider whether that salary goat has a family or not? Yo, that's just cruel. I wonder why the son of Capricorn attacked me right away. And that my intention were to spare such heretics, but still, something is amiss. I must press on. That doesn't justify your action to kill him. Hello there, a bunch of salary goat. What's you doing here? Oh, you're still a wannabe. <laughs> so are you here to join the workers' manifesto? Look how cool they are with their katanas and stuff. I heard they even stole grenades. Yes, I hope to join the revolution and hit cap capitalism in the face with my suitcase. So Capricorn is USA. <laughs> Workers Manifesto. Better work condition. Another battle. The rebellious workers won't let you pass. We no longer your beast, Capricorn. I'm Fergo though. This isn't your hive. Is Capricorn turning against her own servants now? Blasphemy. 
an enemy of your enemy is your friend. Why would you fight this guys? Well, let's just do it then. Purity. Miss. Oh my god. Miss. Ambition Rose. Uh, let's try doing this thing. Right. Overcast! Oh my god! If I overcast, I will hurt myself. I see now. Is there any way to heal myself? Block. Counter turn. I missed again. Manifesto. Ambition Rose. Well, great. Ah! Ah! I didn't... <laughs> I was not ready for the attack. I thought he... He wouldn't attack me. I thought he's just doing buff thing, you know? Alright, alright, alright. We can do this. We can do this. Oh! Twice! They're hitting twice! Well, let's do or die now. Oh, for Cass! I killed myself, right? I think I killed myself. <laughs> No, I didn't kill myself, but I almost killed myself. Oh wait, we can heal! I didn't know that we can heal. Uh, Well, let, let's heal then. Come on. At least now we know we can heal. At least now we know we can heal. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. We can do this, we can do this. Yay! Finally. Oh, okay. There's three. <laughs> There's three more. There's three more. Fret not, man. We're free. Free to get out of my way if you don't want to be dispatched. Missed the second hit. Oh my god, oh my god. Start from the beginning. Seriously? Okay, oh my god. I didn't think Masochist will be this hard. Excuse me? <laughs> what was that? Protect ourselves so we can counter attack. Struggle to act. Good for me. Hit. Block. Miss. You still die. Uh. Let's just attack. Kill counter attack. The, the, the second hit is perfect. I'm not complaining. Perfect. Okay. Keep being in front so that I can kill you faster. Mm. But first, before we can kill you, we should. We need to protect ourselves. I don't want. I don't want to die. Yep. Thank you. Perfect. You're not attacking me. That's nice. So I can attack you now. Thank you. He died. No, he still live. Thank God, double perfect. Look. I think I should drink again. No, this is the first drink. Oh, I missed. 
I'm pretty sure I press it at the right time. Let's just guard. And hope that there's no more wait after this. Okay, he flew away for some reason. Yay, we won! Phew! That was hard. We got one coffee and amethyst short. Whew! That was hard. But I had fun. Seven minutes. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Stop! Tick. Why are you so violent? Is this a likable protagonist? Is this, is this how you call a likable protagonist? I don't think so. Small shrine Saturn. No detached. Welcome to Capricorn Construction Corporation. Our snow is as gray as our hearts. The gates have been breached. The heretics have fallen. The temple lies beneath, ahead of us. We should go over our plan. Yes, we should consider our plan. This old blueprint Germany negotiated for should still prove valuable. It seems like Capricorn's way of tradition wouldn't let her change the place for centuries. We'll need to avoid any bright stars we find around here. We cannot afford to engage everyone head on. Yes, Virgo needs to stay calm around heretic stars. That's going to be rather difficult. Give it your best. So our main goal is to get Capricorn's chamber. I marked the place with a red axe. But first we need to secure the other blueprints. Those are some water around underground engine room. Mark both entrances as well. But you'll have to enter the innermost engine alone, Jin Ginger. Yes, I know. I'm useful. I trust you with this. You cannot fail. Everything depends on the blueprints. I would accompany you, but the passages are so small that Capricorn recruits even chil recruits even children to work in here. In there, I'll do fine. Can't stop worrying so much. I was made for this moment. No, you weren't. You're a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> You're made to be eaten, <laughs> but nevertheless, some places are locked through an engine switch. We should ask also. We should we should also look for that, just in case this old blue blueprint doesn't show us the current layout. Check the quest in the menu. Yes, Capricorn's proletariat built the structure of all other worlds. Finding their blueprints is necessary. If we are to succeed in retrieving the Zodiac's crown, we must find the blueprints before leaving this despicable corporation. So we need to find blueprints to get more blueprints. Reasonable. Uh, how much speed do we have? 20. Let's consume a coffee then. And I guess save. Good morning, Virgo. What are what are your interests in Capricorn Construction Corporation? I came here to see Capricorn. W what? <clears throat> to see we came here to see Capricorn. We have an appointment. Oh, you do? Great. She hates when people disrespect the rules. We're very Saturnian here. I hope you understand. Where is she? I don't have all day. Stop wasting my time, heretic. Um, she's on top, uh, on the top floor of the building, past the garden. You'll have to go upstairs. Uh, all right. Word salary goat. This winter is the coldest I can remember. Even though our winter fades as fast as it comes, it's been hard keeping the snow out of the way. 
There was so much snow that Field Marshal Musashi gathered with the lambs to build some snowmen. We can afford to lose productivity over this. Yes, alright. Acquired Golden Edge Relic. A book about Golden Edge. The Golden Edge was a time of peace and prosperity where all the constellation were aligned as one in favor of the greater good, never succumbing to greed. Travel between constellations was, fair, uh, was swift and unfettered, and no internal conflicts were tolerated within the realms. However, the great rulers had a vast amount of power over the zodiac court and the constellation causing mutinies coming from several zodiac realms. Those who were against rulers would be harshly punished as, uh, for their crimes, often being confined in the astrological prison. I mean, yeah, that, that sounds peaceful. The Golden Age. I would love to live in that age if I'm one of these so-called zodiacs. He said on top of the floor, right? Let's just explore these floors first. On top of the building, on, to on the top floor of the building. I've already mobilized the soldiers. How's the worker situation? The workers are making a fuss. They're currently blocking the entrance. And, well, she's already here. She came early today. As always, I'm Virgo, I'm so perfect. But I thought she'd still be tied up in Libra's bu bureaucracy. According to my intel, it seems like Libra. Libra Released her after Gemini stepped in. She's also in this all by herself. Of course, this isn't in full. I, I would suggest you keep your soldiers at their post. Post. Let the rebels' workers slow her down. Hmm. <laughs> yes. We could have her clean them up for us instead. It's more efficient this way. She'll be shoes before you can even count on to 10. So that was Capricorn, huh? We weren't supposed to go here? I mean, we were supposed to go here, I guess. If I drink enough coffee, I may increase my combat capabilities and maybe, just maybe, get Lady Capricorn Senpai to notice me. Mistress, do you have any sp spare coffee? See some coffee literally five feet away from you. Well, let's just give him co coffee then. Thank you, mistress. I feel much more ambitious now. What's the point in worshipping such a pitiful zodiac? Here goes ambitions grow. Thank you. Can we get a lot of coffee from this machine then? No? Ice cream feed stuff. Snow room. Can we get ice cream from this? Ice cream feed stocks? No? Okay, it's snowing only exclusively in this room. The warmth in this cold environment makes makes your heart skip a bit. What was that? Oh it it is a healing spot, I guess. So snow room with that fireplace can be used as healing spot. Shouldn't have wasted my coffee. <laughs> if I know this will happen and um, well what happened happened. Then. Well yeah. Before we go inside the elevator, I will just go here. St Stars corridor. Daily horoscope. It's such a stealthy first day. All attacks are tied with zodiac qualities of cardinal, mutable, and fixed. Each of those use a different attribute to calculate your damage dealt in battle, as well as blessings and flakes associated with them. For example, ambition increased purge and counter attacks of the cardinal quality. Versatility affects mutable damage, while patience deals with the fixed spectrum. All attributes also affect the growth of hearts and purity per rank. I see. What is this? Nothing. Oh, we can jump? 
what's the point of jumping? There's like no platform I can find. Maybe it's for la later? And how do we sprint? Oh. Left trigger. We get another coffee. There's, there's a bunch of healing items. That's good to know. According to the blueprints, this place is sealed with, uh, by an engine room switch. Oh yeah, that's true. We should use the blueprints to... To know where we are going. We're right here. We need to go to the green mark area then. Top left. I see. What you guys doing? The guards are very organized, taking turns between fighting and sleeping. We're working with the revolution. We can't let our constitu constitutional strike hours go to waste. Okay, what's that teapot doing in there? It's really big. Oh, a tea. I see. Another healing item. Hello there, Mr. Snowman. The shiny amethyst colored bow tie stands out in the particular snowman design. Take it for yourself. Oh, so the snowman gave you a new ribbon. Awesome. Go, go. Equip it. I fail to see the point of this. Why should I change my outfit? With this, you'll get new red abilities. Ribbons give out counter attacks for some reason. Its new piece of equipment hides its own mystery. It's amazing! Give it a try. If I can slay a greater quantity of heretics with such a headpiece, I'll wear it. Equip to Virgo. What are you doing with that ribbon, miss? You can't go around undressing our snowman like this. The snowman didn't exactly bother to take it back. Now get out of my sight! And the point. No, no, miss. You look at that suspicious. I must report you to General Deneb. Deneb is a star constellation, if I recall it correctly. You dare interrupt me, heretic? Do you know why one does not interrupt Virgo twice? Why is that? Because they are dead after the first try. Let's go. More fightings. Ashigaru began his turn intimidated. Oh boy, you definitely make him mad. Back off, Ginger. This one looks like he knows his way in combat. Gemini asked me to read you her Zodiac Qualis 101 manual. Okay, I will listen to you. Let's try to defend against your attacks the same way you do, Virgo. I'd be blind if I hadn't seen that. Good thing he's got a red shield instead of purple shield one like you. That means he's defensively a fixed foe. Are you taking... Talking in color codes. I might enter the garden again. <laughs> this is trying. This is trying my patience. Well, you will get patience level up. He's the one trying to rely on his own patience. If you didn't notice it before, I did. All abilities are tied to zodiac quality system. What did I do to deserve th these lectures? It's simple, really, because there's someone controlling you in front of the screen. If you've got more patience, all your fixed skills will deal more damage. I have no skills like that. Doesn't matter. Qualities form a convoluted relationship with each other. The chart goes like this. Which means that fixed focus foes will take extra mutable damage. While cardinal foes will take extra damage from fixed attack. And mutable heretics will rarely reduce cardinal damage. I understood all that when I was 5. Damn, you're so smart. I'm 22 and I just understand it now. And this is why I can get mad at you. Enough talk, miss. Okay, I wasn't ready. Capricorn spawn will often try to strike at you with cardinal abilities. You've made the right decision to bring such ambitious shield with you. That was just lucky. This way, your guards will be extra effective when defending cardinal attacks. Told you I already know the basics. Bah. Here, drink this. Okay, I won't interrupt again. I promise. Okay. We should guard first so that we can 
to defend against his attack. Perfect. Counter turn. He's weak against Pengeance, right? Perfect. Uh, Pengeance again. Hit. Here you go, lost ambition. Oh, he can heal. That's nice. I'll protect myself, too. Oh, miss. Miss. Counter turn. Miss. <laughs> Again. Hit. Thank you. Counter turn. Miss. No. That was so powerful. I should get him again. His turn intimidated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave him out of this. Okay. Didn't pay attention. I missed. Ooh. Perfect. Here you go, Lost Ambition. He's healing himself. Back again. I miss. Damn, that attack is so powerful. How do I skip this? <laughs> How do I skip this? Perfect. Thank you. I miss. Hit. 21 crit. That's nice. Protect ourselves. Miss. Block. Holy damage. Hit. It's going to counter, huh? Come on! <laughs> How do I dodge that? Okay, 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 okay. Leave me, leave him out of this. Perfect. Counter attack. I miss. If only I didn't, I don't miss that that first counter attack. I think it's gonna be easier. Perfect. Block. Counter turn. Perfect. Push. Perfect. Nice. Okay, I win. I win. Hit. Yoohoo. That went easier than the first one. The world is cleaner now. We leveled up and heal ourselves. That's nice. We don't need to use our consumables. And we leveled up. We get our cuteness leveled up too. That's nice. I still find her personality not cute at all. For, for now. <laughs> Serves him right. At least he left that door unlocked. Database center. So yeah, I'm sorry for making a longer video. I was planning to play this for like 30 minutes, but the story and dialogue in this game is too much <laughs> to fit in a 30 minutes video. But I think that's it for today. We will continue later. And I think I'm still, I will still stick with this masterpiece mode. So yeah, until next time.